are actual Canadian geese. It's the first time seeing real Canadian geese, not the imposters that you see in the United States. The Canadian geese imposters. Look at him go. Look at him go. here at the Anytime Fitness location here in Vancouver. I don't know which location it is. Oh, selfie time. Oh, okay. Okay, these ended up being uh, two for a deal and she convinced me and then I have a fridge that's not on at the moment, which we'll get to at a later time. So, uh, vlogging, day one in Vancouver. Yeah, um, I'll probably talk more about this later, but the general consensus for me is that I have to drive from here to Alaska at my own pace and the road is lonely. And also I'm just feeling very motivated at the moment. Uh, you guys watched the video about my channel and what's going to happen and I'm kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to do what I want to do and I want to try this, so I'm going to daily vlog. And let me shut this. Sound is probably pretty rad. So I'm going to daily vlog. Um, the only caveat is that it's probably going to be on a long delay, meaning I probably won't release these for a week or two, only because... Uh, service so I won't be able to upload these for the most part and uploading all of them will be difficult so I'm going to kind of give myself a buffer also I don't know if I'm going to be able to do every single day uh my life isn't that exciting I am definitely not Casey Neistat and doing a vlog every single day would be tough so there might be days where I just combine two days um so that's the current plan and you guys will see this delayed but I kind of have to do it that way like I said because otherwise there's no way I can I'd probably upload one video and then go dark for like a week and a half so that's how I'm going to do it it also helps me give me a little more time to edit all these um I have no clue if I'm going to be able to do it but I'm excited and I hope that it's entertaining because I know most of my audience is here for photography and editing stuff so if you hate it, that's okay. There will be photography in some of these, but like, for example, I plan on being in Vancouver for a couple days and that's not gonna entail very much photography. So there's just daily life, like taking a shower and getting out of the car and sleeping in a parking lot uh, downtown. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, let's do this. Let's, oh, the first thing, uh, well, the first thing was showering. The second thing was getting caffeine. And the third thing is going to be getting a better tripod, gorilla pod, whatever for my camera. Uh, the one I have now is fine, but we're gonna visit a few camera shops, I think, in Vancouver. So that's what we're gonna do first. I have to wait for them to open because it's only like 8.30. But yeah, let's go. So, uh, 
didn't actually expect anyone to sell this in Canada, let alone in a store. It is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod, and it's one of the coolest uh, vlogging tripods ever. It, it has so much stuff. Um, but this is not gonna be a review, it's just gonna be me opening it. They didn't have any in stock, so they sold me their display model, which by the looks of it seemed fine. I mean, I'm gonna throw it around anyways. Um, but uh, let me open it. Not that you guys care that much, but uh, it's pretty sweet in terms of like, the, the problem with the one I'm using right now is it basically is just three legs that go out and a head that locks and those legs get stuck. And I also have the, the microphone on top of the camera, which makes it too high to put it in some places. And this has cool stuff like I can put it uh, off to the side, that kind of stuff. And I will show you that as soon as I figure out how to get this box open. So now that I got this thing out of the box and configured, um, some cool things is obviously vlogging style. And then you can just uh, press this button here and switch it to tripod mode, which these legs then do this thing and it has all this stuff. Um, it's got a lot of stuff. If you want a full review, full video of it, uh, a YouTube channel by the name of Potato Jet did a much better job than I'm doing because again, I just bought it and I'm vlogging about it. So uh, the other cool thing, like I said, is it has this hot shoe mount here so that the microphone can go here rather than way up here on top of my camera. So I'm gonna take my camera off of the one that's on now and put it on here, Arca Swiss. Super important so that I can just use my, cause I'm vlogging with the camera, I shoot all my photos on. So don't wanna fiddle around with having to take that plate off. So uh, yeah. Okay, so pro tip, if you're ever in Canada, well, actually this only applies to Vancouver because that's the only place I've been. Never be in the left lane because the left lane apparently is a turn lane for a lot of spots, but there's no dedicated turn lane. So if it's just two lanes and you're cruising, someone might just be trying to make a left and everyone has to stop. So stay in the right lane. Okay, it's been a long day. It's around dinner time and I get asked all the time how I eat on the road. Well, a lot of people ask how I use the bathroom and shower, but you've already seen that. So I'm gonna show you how I eat on the road. It's a pretty big deal. Let's do this. Okay, unrelated, everywhere here costs money to park. Even at like late at night, they were checking at like 9 p.m. last night. Crazy, okay, food. Thank you. This is the secret. Eating alone. Food's done. Car. Reese is still okay. This is a weird thing that I have to uh, worry about. 
because literally my entire life is in this thing. So I always try to park uh, really close to where I'm going, which was like right there, pretty much. And don't leave the car for very long because uh, I get stressed out because I'm just like, my whole life isn't there. Okay, on to the next thing, food, excellent. The food here has been, let me fix this, much better. Food here has been, honestly, so good. So good. And it is only 6.30. Uh, so the night is still pretty young. Let's see what else we can get into. So just discovered that I think there's a little bit of mold in my fridge because I haven't kept it on and I've only kept drinks in it. So I'm gonna take these out really quick. Basically what has happened is those drinks have gotten cold or hot, cold most likely, because I have turned it on a few times and then I've never aired out the water. So we're gonna clean this thing really quick because I just discovered, I'll show you. All right, so this is, yeah, that's what we're working with. Uh, okay, let's get to cleaning. <laughs> Good thing I just opened this up and looked. Man, I wonder how long it's been in there. All right. All right, so we cleaned the fridge out. I turned it on to run the refrigerating unit in it. That kind of usually helps with drying things out, um, whether it's heat or cold. So that should helpfully get rid of some of the moisture in there after wiping it down with a solution of vinegar and water. So I actually clean a lot of my dishes, which at some point I'll probably get into, uh, using a half solution of 50% vinegar, 50% water. It's fantastic for living on the road. One of the best pro tips I can ever give to anyone that lives on the road is wash your dishes with that because I pretty much don't even use soap. Every once in a while I'll take them to a sink, but I don't even use water most of the time. Just wipe it down with some uh, paper towels and uh, that. Anyways, uh, ideally it would have been bleach, but I didn't have any, so that's what I cleaned it with. Gonna let that run. Good thing I discovered that because there's been a smell going on, and I guess that's what it was. It's starting to rain, so that might be a problem. Anyways, uh, speaking of rain, moisture is the bane of existence living in the car. Didn't really have to deal with it being out in the desert for almost a year, so I have to lift my bed up every day to air out the bottom so it doesn't develop mold. That was a fun discovery in Oregon. And, oh, it's really starting to rain. Okay, I might have to get into the car. I'm inside now, even though it's barely raining, but it was raining just enough. So like if it rains a little bit, I can keep the back door open. But if it rains with a breeze or just enough and it starts hitting my wood, that's when I try to shut it. But I think it's already stopped so probably gonna chill in here for a little bit. I think I'm gonna start working on this episode. Okay, I edited for like, I don't know, maybe uh, 15 minutes and the sun really coming out. So we're moving spots. We're gonna try to see sunset. That's what's happening. I wanna focus on the road. Bye. Absolutely insane. Oh. We were only like three minutes away, so we made it, which was good <laughs> considering uh, it was happening as I left. So, absolutely gorgeous. Man, what a city. I've been to a lot of cities in my life, and there's something about Vancouver. I can't really put my finger on it. I've only been here for two days, 
and something is different. Man, what a sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes it's really nice not to worry about taking a photo, just enjoying it for what it is, showing up and living in that moment, for sure. Uh, man, what a moment. All right, that was a great end to day one. I think that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning, or tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm not gonna restrict myself to tomorrow morning because I don't know how often you guys wanna watch me wake up in the car <laughs> and brush my teeth. And I'm probably not even showering tomorrow, so. Okay, end of the episode. Later. Later.